Hey patrons, how is it going? I'm just popping in with this studio tour. Just gonna show off the new cabinets that I got in the studio. These were given to me by my brother-in-law. He was renovating his kitchen and he asked us if we wanted to take the uh, old cabinets out and we said, yeah. Um, I've installed them at the back of the studio here and so far it's working out really great. All I need now is a countertop to go on them, but I'm just going to make do with some boards for a while first. See my happy face buckets. Something that's also new is the spray booth frame. I uh, tore down the old spray booth. It was just uh, duct taped to the uh, ceiling and the walls. <laughs> and uh, I put it up in a hurry because I just needed to go back to work. And uh, we recently renovated uh, the studio, I don't know if you can tell if you've watched like my previous studio tours, there used to be garage doors right there along that wall. And along with their, their motors and the railing was all up on the ceiling, but uh, we took it all down and I had a contractor fill in the doors. So on the outside it still looks like a garage, but on the inside it's, uh, it's a wall and that's what my cabinets are on now. This fan here is going to be the air intake for the spray booth. This is the exterior fan that will blow um, air from the inside of the spray booth outside. Uh, when it's in operation, I usually have a filter on the fan here just to filter out the silicone before it goes outside. Um, but yeah, this spray booth is looking pretty good. It's just a 2x4 cube that we stapled plastic to. I have to go around and tape um, tape it down a little bit more just to seal it a bit better. Uh, but this is basically going to do for me. This is the new tail that I'll be making. This is a beautiful golden with ice crystals tail. It's inspired by a uh, morning dawn or the arctic. So very bright, vibrant, bright golden light over uh, turquoise like aqua ice. Uh, so I'm doing um, a really cool shattered uh, crystal, shattered ice pattern on the tips of the fins, but also on the fluke here. This is uh, close to what it's going to look like. I still have to draw the stencil and then cut it out, but because it's all straight lines, I can basically do it by hand, uh, probably in a day, just uh, sit and draw it and cut it out with a ruler and a knife. Uh, this is closer, like so without like... This looks like stained glass because of the harsh black outline, but this is one without the harsh black outline, so this is more what it uh, will look like. Actually, this is closer to what it will look like. This is just an acrylic painting, though, that I did on paper. But those are all the true pigments I'm using. And then this are just uh, pigment samples of all the pearly tones. I'm putting gold hollow on it. You know, this gold hollow glitter... Uh, without direct sunlight, it's like really hard to see it shimmering. Um, but once it's in the sun, it is incredibly vibrant and lovely. And then this is a, it's like a chameleon flake. It changes from gold to green to blue. Super shimmery. It's all going on there. So it's going to be very bright and pretty. So here she is. I already have everything cast for her. Uh, this is my Aphrodite fluke. My big bed of fluke. These are my Skyla scales. We have a pair of Seto fins, these little roughly guys are Seto. And Galatea. These big fins are Galatea. What we're also doing on the tail, you can't really see in the preview painting because uh, they're quite small, is um, we're also going to put crystals. These are silicone crystals that I cast. And I'll show you how I molded and demolded these guys. Ooh, here's the waistband. Could actually I uh, demold the waistband here because it's done. So I make a little frame with clay, and then I pour just a little bit of. colored silicone so it's got some clay stuck to it still it's okay 
okay it peels apart pretty nicely nothing sticks to silicone except for fabric and silicone so you can make a mold out of anything and uh, peel silicone right out of it once you pour it in but I use uh, plasticine clay if I'm just wanting to like cast just a small section of the fluke I'll use this clay just to uh, uh, separate it from the rest of the mold and then when the silicone flows it doesn't uh, flow where you don't want it to go but yeah there's there's a nice waistband it's got fabric reinforcement in it so I can make it really thin and it won't break Doo -doo. Uh, here's all the little extra extra scales so these help with the transition from the fluke to the scales this is going to go over the seam around the foot pockets. All these little guys. I am really excited to put these on the tail because they're going to uh, be clear. So the light is going to shine right through them. Which is what I wanted. What my client wanted. They're going to have a lovely uh, iridescent coat of paint on them though. That's also translucent. So. Yay, crystals! They are cast in uh, silicone molds. So this is literally like a brick of silicone. Uh, it was poured over some sculpts that I made. A little crystal barnacle sculpts. That's a seashell. That's like a little taller crystal. But yeah, I'll show you guys how I demold these. Demolding is fun! So thank you for tuning in everyone and thank you for being a patron of mine. I'm excited to post more updates of this tale as we go along. Can't wait to paint her, it's going to be very pretty and get her to her owner. Have a great night and I'll see you in the next one, bye!